everyone. We are back again this week for some more tours through our galleries here at the museum. And today we are going to spend some time in the Shenandoah Gallery. And the Shenandoah Gallery is one of our bigger spaces here at the museum. And here we have a lot of different things um, contained in this gallery. So we're gonna spend some time today and just look at everything that we have. Okay, so before Link was known for his n and photos or anything else. He actually started as a commercial photographer uh, very early on. And so here in Shenandoah Gallery, we have a little um, section dedicated to his early life, his commercial work, um, things like that. Uh, one of the probably most well-known commercial photos of his is this here. Um, I call it Fire and Ice. That's not its actual title. Um, but people are always drawn to this on tours that I give. The lady here, she's standing on ice, these blocks of ice, and you can't see it very well, but there's a piece of glass here, um, and it's an advertisement for the glass company, and it's got the fire underneath, and so the idea was that, you know, the glass is so strong it can withstand fire and ice. Um, we have the model here standing on the top, and she's got her mirror out which anyone um, younger on the tour always likes to tell me that it looks like she's taking uh, a selfie. <laughs> so um, again, that's one of our probably more well-known commercial photos that we have out on display here in Shenandoah. Um, and there's some smaller ones sort of off to the side as well. All right, also in Shenandoah Gallery, we also have Link's dark room. Um, you can't see it too well. There's sort of a glare on the glass. Um, I apologize for that. But this is equipment that actually was in his home in New York. Uh, when they were establishing this museum, there was a group um, of folks that actually traveled to New York and, and got this equipment out of his basement and brought it here and set it up in the museum. So this is this is his actual stuff. This isn't a, a reproduction of any kind um, or like a simulation. This is, this is his actual dark room. Okay, we... okay, also in Shenandoah Gallery, we have a setup of Link's lighting equipment and things he would use in order to take the photos while he was out um, along the Norfolk and Western line. And again, there's sort of a glare on the glass, so I'm sorry that you, you cannot see um, all that we have but you can see we have some of the flash equipment up here uh, he had to run up to a mile of cable in order to link all of the flashes together um, obviously to capture the photos at night he had to have a lot a lot a lot of flash so um, we have that and different things um, we have his trunk with his logo on it here in the front. And the flash bulbs were one time use. So I always, again, on tours, especially with younger folks, I try and impress upon them <laughs> the difficulty of taking these photos, um, setting them all up. And, you know, if you flashed and didn't get the photo that you wanted, you had to go and like replace every single bulb and try again later. And so it was quite a labor intensive process. Um, Link would sometimes set up for hours and hours just to get one photo. So this is sort of a, a quick, quick glimpse of what he um, used here in this case. And um, many folks think that Link was actually employed by Norfolk and Western to do this. He was not. Uh, this was entirely self-funded. So all the flash bulbs, all this equipment, um, his cameras, all this, was just paid for by by him out of his own pocket so um, that's another interesting tidbit
Shenandoah Gallery also houses a lot of a lot of Blake's more famous, well-known works. Um, so most people instantly recognize this photo here, Hot Shot Eastbound, um, as an Owen Sinley photo. Again, it's probably his most famous, his most recognizable, um, and it's really popular. It's in magazines and books all over the world. Uh, people request it a lot. And so this is in Yeager, West Virginia, is where this photo was taken. And Blink was a big fan of staged photos, so everything that's in here is, you know, what he had set up. Um, you know, he, he had an idea of what he wanted the photo to look like. And so that's how he set this up. Um, these folks here in the car, he wanted them in there. Um, you know, it wasn't like just a candid photo. Um, and also, this is one of the only photos that Link took where you can actually see some of his lighting equipment here in the foreground. Um, and to get the airplane there on the screen that was actually playing, he had to take a photo of, of the scene, and then he had to take a separate photo of the actual screen and then make a master copy where he overlaid um, the image on the screen there in order to get the full image that you see here that everyone recognizes as a link. All right, one of the most popular parts of the Shenandoah Gallery is this right here. Um, it is a interactive touch display and it shows how Link would light his photos. Um, so you can touch um, one of his photos here and the touch screen, it will show you where you can touch different spots and it'll tell you where he had to place his lighting equipment in order to light a certain portion of each photo. And so it's a really good um, interactive to sort of show the thought that went behind uh, each photo and setting it up. And, you know, Link was, he actually had a degree in civil engineering. Um, and so that background that he had sort of came in handy for the technical part of taking all of these photos. So, especially with kids, this is really popular. Um, people really like it. It has little details about um, single bulb flash and different things, um, trivia to go along with the photos.